Hey tribe, welcome to the HGDC, HG Designs Crochet channel. I'm Heather, your host. I'm 28 and I'm from Leicester in the United Kingdom. So if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. Thank you for coming back to spend time with me. And if you're brand new, hi, hello and welcome. I hope you enjoy your time here. So today's little vlog is all about my crochet journal. So I was asked during my giveaway for my 100 subscribers a question by Olivia Jade as to whether I could talk about my crochet journal, which I intended to do anyway. And as there is so much to cover, I've decided to give it its own little vlog. So I hope you enjoy this one. Um, I don't know if any of you use any journals or any organisers to track your projects. Um, so I thought I'd show my setup and then you can always comment below if you've got any suggestions for me. Um, I have always, always kept a journal since I was about 16. Um, more of a, a sort of dear, dear diary journal. Um, and from there, I've kind of branched out to having a different journal and notebook for different areas of my life. So I currently have my normal journal, which is like a, a dear diary, I would guess, though I don't write dear diary. Um, then I have my bullet journal, which is my sort of organiser slash planner. And then I have a notebook that I write down for this podcast, so all my show notes um, and ideas that I've got. Then I have a, another journal for if I read an actual book, like a paper book rather than my Kindle, I'll write quotes in it. Um, and then I have a actual journal that is sort of like um, an inspiration board. It's got all of my quotes, printouts from Pinterest in there. I've got a gym journal. I'm a journal junkie, is what I'm trying to tell you. So the two that I use for crochet, for knitting, for my creative world are these two here. So I've got my actual crochet journal and I've got my bullet journal and I use these together. So let's start with the crochet journal. This is a clear binder clip binder, A5 size, and I got it from Wilkinson's maybe a year or two years ago. It's just an A5 subject organiser. with It's got dividers and it's got a subject bag, a zipper bag in it. So when you open it up, it's got the ring binder clip, and I've decorated the front page. So I've just got HG Designs, um, and it's got this paper cutout. These were from the range and the papers are just off cuts I've got because I do do a little bit of junk journaling, scrapbook journaling. Um, all of the sort of notebooks and dividers in here are all on this brown paper which I do quite like. It was really fashionable when I bought this I guess. Um, so my first divider oh, is just my front page. And then you open that up, it's got pictures of my HD Designs Crochet on my light box. That's my Lark's Foot blanket that I'm trying to finish. My first ever pair of socks that I completed with various blankets in the background. Lark's Foot, Giant Granny, Scraptastic. That's a little bit of my sunshine blanket you can barely see. And then on the next page, again, more printouts and whatnot. So... Don't ever be ashamed of loving the strange things that make your weird little heart happy. Um, I find that people either think crochet and knitting and my yarny life is crazy weird and you can get some really adverse reactions to that. But it's something that I love doing so I'm happy to fly my freak flag. Hi, I'm Heather, I love crochet, I love knitting. Give me some yarn and I'm happy. <laughs> um, then it's got this little woman here with her hair. 
I think she was supposed to go in one of my other journals, but she came in here. I love crochet and it's got the chart to make a heart. Choose your adventure. That was part of um, one of my sub boxes that was going to go live. Um, I love adventure and to me, the Yarny world is a huge adventure. So yeah, adventure is a big, a big, it's a big part of my life and it's a lot of fun. Um, and then this is a 3D oops, heart that I got from the works and it's got this distress like a liberty print on it. Now let's see what I've just thrown everywhere. Oh, it's okay. Um, and then again, more divider pages with not a lot in them at the moment. It's got printouts of my blanket stack. You can go back and look at my blanket stack vlog. That has well over a thousand views, so you must all love it. Thank you for watching. Um, I stopped feeling like I didn't belong anywhere and realized I actually belonged anywhere I wanted to be. Before I did my Instagram for my crochet and before YouTube, I felt like I never fitted in anywhere because there's not many people that I know in my age group that love this crafty life as much as I do. Um, but then I realised I can fit in wherever I want to, although it's a huge aspect of my life. It isn't a be all and end all of my life, there's so much to me. Um, so I love my quotes, I love having them all around me. I've got that was my first ever logo for HG Designs. Um, and they're like clothing labels and I'm actually gonna try and use them up um, even though they're not my latest logo. And then I'll get some more once they're gone. And then this is, I think this would have been from Paper Chase. Have big dreams, you will grow into them. And it's got all washi tapes behind it. Um, and then we get into the first notebook. So if I take it out, I don't know if I'll go back in. Let me show you like this. So can you see it's a notebook? So the first one is squared paper and it's graph paper. And I have actually wrote out my niece's name, Kyra, because I was going to try and make a corner to corner blanket with her name. I'm just going to add before we go any further, there's a lot of designs in here that never ever materialised and I'm also going to say that that's okay and I will come on to that again later. So graph paper is really really useful if you have a image that you want to make or um, a ch no, you know, if you want to chart something out. So I could have, though I haven't, put my um, lacy fern sock pattern in here and chart it out. Square paper I haven't used as much because I don't really put a design or an image into my work. Um, maybe I will maybe I will work on adding more of those in. So that's quite empty at the moment. Um, my next one is my ideas. I love school prints. There's always schools wherever I am, and there's a HG down there because I love my initials. Um, then when you open it up. It is, so this, this little notebook is kind of keeping track of materials I've used, a little bit of inspiration. So in the front page we've got, this is Set Free My Gypsy Soul, it's Mickey, um, I've mentioned her before, she is amazing at crochet, um, her, her business card is in there. These are little pictures that I've cut out of um, maybe the ASOS magazine I've seen on screen where they've got crochet clothing in there, which is amazing. And when I set this journal up a few years ago, I really wanted to start making more garments. And it's only just now that I finally arrived here and started doing it. Um, and more quotes. Let go of anything that is toxic to your progression. Oh, I can read backwards. Um, how to, because this is my how to journal, that raffle ticket, it wasn't a winner but it was from one of my first ever um, day long craft events that I went to where just a huge amount of knitters, spinners, weavers, 
and crochet is descend upon a room and we spend the whole day there and eat lots of food and make all day. Um, I keep all mementos like that and if they don't go in my normal journal they'll find their way into one of these journals. Then we move on to projects that I've done. So I made this giant scarf but I didn't actually loop it together. I had it in a long um, single piece. Is that the right way to say it? I didn't sew the two ends together and I put fringing on and these are the colours that I used. Um, and that was it. I made the pocket rocket wrap scarf. Um, and that was one of the tags from some of the big yarn that I used. I absolutely hated that scarf. I spent ages making it. Well, I didn't spend ages. I spent a weekend making it. And it wasn't really that great. And I think that's what put me off making um, garments. Because it looked awful. But this is how we learn. So... This was a marble fab, um, yarn and it was all chunky and I had a grain of blue and I just put little off cuts of my ends so for example I've got my sewing pouch here and loads of ends of a project I'm making. Some of those will end up in here to show the yarns that I've used. Um, I just find it helpful. I've printed off on the back here the big scarf that I made. It was a really nice pattern but I just used the wrong yarn. But again that's all part of the learning curve. So it's by Make Eat on Instagram. I'm really pleased that I made a note of that and that's what it looked like. So I had mine in chunky navy I think and then I did a pocket in grey and then I had grey and purple fringing. I think it wasn't so much the yarn, it was the fact that I did it in a hook that made it too tight and too rigid and it didn't wrap around you. It, yeah, learning curve. So let's put that back on there. Um, then I've got a note here when I started my scrap tastic blanket, <coughs> um, which is on the hashtag on Instagram is hgdc underscore scrap tastic. Um, and I used a five mil hook and I've told myself what I used, I chained 151 um, and I used DK scraps and then as we go through the pages I've just got printouts of tags of people I've collected, yarn bands that I've used, um, this was my first ever pair of socks so they're the yarns that I used, so I used Zig King Cole Zigzag 4ply which is the, this blue I used some DK red for the toes and the heels. That is a pair. I've actually got that on the hooks, on the hooks, on the needles still. My love story yarn. Um, that was the first ever commercial yarn I brought for myself for socks, and I got it from that day long craft event that I told you about. And then I've got patterns in here, so my triangle bunting, which I have never put anywhere. Um, so there's two lots of triangle bunting and then I draw pictures in here of ideas um, so when I did the triangles I wanted to make a cushion out of it I wanted to make a cushion where the bunting and the H were appliqued on um, I also keep the tags of my new needles and hooks mainly needles to be honest so I've got Addies and the reason I put those in there is because I've got quite a few different sets of needles but I can go back I can correspond with this and I can decide if I like a brand or not I do really like my Addies but I'm more of a fan of my knit prosings and there's one of those in there um, I've got yarn bands of the sock yarn that I'd started to buy um, Homespun Wonders, she was included in one of my boxes. Truly Hooked, love that yarn, that was my Autumn Confettis, um, which I have shown on here. They're the, they're the socks that I cast off too tightly, and I still haven't recast on and sorted out. Um, and then I also write down patterns. So before I started my bullet journal, 
which was middle of 2017. I used to write all of my patterns that I was working on in here. So this was the Darm Circle Charm Blanket. Um, I showed you the swatch. It's the grey one, it's got the orange centre and I made that up myself for the blanket. Um, I've wrote down the pattern in here so that should I ever want to make it again, it's here I can refer to it. I've also got some of my invoices for some of the yarn that I've brought, um, just so I could keep track of exactly what I put in the blanket and the costs. This was my granny triangle scarf, um, which was inspired by the Zines and Rogers, who's just subscribed to me. Hi, thank you. <laughs> um, and I originally wanted to make it in the greys and the blues with a little bit of mustard yellow and then if you look back at one of my very first vlogs I think within the first three or four um I went away on a holiday October 2017 caravan holiday with my family cousins and uncles and um I just used what I had there which was grey and some pink and so I made that scarf which I have worn to death it's so bubbled um peeled paint box yarn didn't really seem to stand up to how much I've used it but that was my initial choice of colours and I might get round to making that choice of colours for winter 2018 because it was such a lovely scarf to wear so I think the one I've already got will become my dog walking one um, with my old beat up coat and then I'll make myself a new one um, but then I'd worked out that I wanted how much of the navy I'd need, how much of the dark grey. I also have right here I want to make matching fingerless gloves and wrist warmers apparently. Um, here is another pattern I made up was for my niece's little blanket for her dolly, her baby, which she loves and goes everywhere with her. Um, I also made a sleeping bag for her babies but I made that out of fabric because the crochet just looked too, it just looked naff, really naff. Um, we're almost to the end of my ideas one. I've got some more um, swatching in here and yarn used. So the Lily blanket, which you will have seen in my blanket stack vlog. This is all of the colors that I used in the squares. I'd say the majority and there's a couple missing. They might all be there. And the joining colour isn't because I used paint box grey. Um, and this is a divide I just made myself out of a bit of coloured paper. I put all scraps on there. The reason I did that was originally because I was going to go around the shop. I thought I'd need more yarn and I was going to take that with me in a shop so that I could just check against the colours in there to make sure I didn't already have it and that it complemented. Because there's nothing worse than thinking, I really like that green and you get home and you've already got eight balls of it. Because I've probably done that before. I've done that before. Um, and I just wrote on the back, the back, Lily Colour Blanket Card. And then this is on here, I wrote to myself, Dear Future Me, on an old envelope for my council tax. Um, using a 5mm hook, you've got four squares to do, 10 rounds each. Um, the colours are included in here, so I'd put all of this in a bag to myself. Um, Join in dark grey. Photos of the layout of the squares that I put apparently in my photo roll for the 28th of the 9th, 2016. And this is Lily's man blanket. And that's all. Let's see if I can get this in. <laughs> so I'm kind of organised. Um, that's now in there just because that was part of the planning of the blanket. On here, I've just got the business cards of some of the stitch markers I got for my birthday, December 2017, and some of the beautiful packaging it came in. Um, I love accumulating packaging ideas in my head, and because I've put a bit of the tissue paper in there used, I can see exactly how that was when, it, when I opened it. Um, and then again, just more Knit Pro Zings, um, backing papers, 
this yarn it's not actually in here it should be with my christmas sock yarn and then drops fable which again all needs adding in and it's just yarn bands which are all falling out everywhere so this was for snaps blanket that's all of the yarn bands that i used the good thing is as well now that i'm doing youtube a lot of my information i end up putting in the description box i kind of know i've not written down here what i've used but i know if i go to my description box it'll all be there at some point i will end up sitting down and updating this entirely um i tend to go every few months i just then um sit down with the basket that i've got so i keep a basket of stuff that i put in that needs to go in my journals and i will sit there and update this um I did that about a month ago. I stuck all of this in here and when I get around to the next lot, I will start adding, writing in all the details and update my journal. Um, and then in the back, I've just got more tags. So these are some of the tags that I'm currently using. Um, receipts for, if anybody watched my bargain yarn haul, I got some patterns and all the receipts in here. Just so I know how much I've paid. Um, I've got, bits of this yarn, that's the burgundy yarn I got from Audi which I showed off in my barking yarn haul and I'm making a clutch bag out of and then again that is from a magazine and I've cut it out I would quite like to try making one it is from the ASOS magazine um, and then just more kind of like junk journaling isn't it so Mickey from Set Free My Gypsy Soul sent me a Queen G bag and this was some of the um, wrapping. I'm going to keep it, that's just the way I am. I've got another another notebook in here that's plain paper should I want to sketch anything. Um, again, quite a lot of this is blank and I will show you what I've been doing in my bullet journal um, and how I'm going to merge the two. So I've got more of my printouts. These are some of the very first stitch markers I made for myself. And here's a load of my blanket stacks. So you've got Distraction, Lark's Foot, My Sunshine Stripe, Scraptastic, Giant Granny Square, and my Peach Chevron. And as I've said, I've shown all of those off in my blanket stack. Vlog. This is my sock box um, notebook. So I put together subscription kits of yarn, indie dyed hand yarn, so that you can make your own socks. At the moment I'm taking a break from that, but I will hopefully be getting back to it. So it's got my newest um, business card and logo on there, which was designed by Jane Bond for me. I'll put all the links below. Then I've just wrote down sort of ideas of um, themes for the boxes which I can't show you because they're a surprise and then I've got all of the so that was the packaging that I that was the gift wrap for the first box and all of the tags of the makers that were involved in that um, the Christmas one again all the makers involved that was called Evergreen. Then I really need to sneeze. I've got hay fever sneeze. <laughs> and he won't do it. Girl Boss was the third box, and all the makers are in there, all their tags. Um, and then the adventure box part of it is in there, but that hasn't actually gone out yet. So then at the back, I've got these zip lock clear bag it's got a bit of stellina in there which i like to put in projects it's actually got some patterns in here by the looks of it which i've obviously used oh, i wonder where that was that needs to go in my pattern binder so i've got a new toe design there I think Isabel, which she is the English lady, the English lady spinner, I'll put her below, she gave me those, 
So they need to go in my pattern book, which is currently with Isabella at the moment. <laughs> when I do get that back, I will be showing that off as well, how I organise my patterns, which kind of works in conjunction with this little setup I've got. Um, I've got ideas in the back here, so I've obviously, I wanted to make like a wall, a wall art, I can't remember what they're called, like a wall hanging, so that was one of my ideas. And then, again, stuff that I've been making, so my brother, Mitchell Griffith Racing, I made a prototype tyre warmer for his black, for his bike, and my cute Nix card that goes in the back. So that is my crochet journal. It is invaluable and it's got so much of my mind in there. Um, I, I, I kind of guess people would use Ravelry for the same thing, whereas I'm quite visual and I like it actually there in front of me. Um, so as you can see, it's got bits of the yarn I've used. It's got the tags. Um, everything is in there. Quick, easy reference. When I say everything. Now that I also use a bullet journal, which is just a simple, it's an empty squared notebook that you get, so the pages are squared, and you set it up how you want to be an organiser for yourself. So I've got um, lists of things that I want to do, lists of things, so I've got like my knit and crochet bucket list in here, which I haven't ticked anything off yet. Um, I've got, have I done anything on there? I'm going to have to work on that. Um, I've got my wish list of things that I want for my real life, um, things that I want to go do. I can tick off basketball game on this one. I'm hoping that we do... Um, oh, there's so many things on here. Van life is also included on there. I've got sockbox themes all listed down here. Um, I've got things for, I've got American to UK stitch conversion as an easy reference because I, I'm British but I tend to use American terms I think, other than treble, I do do treble in the UK which is a double in the UK um, and then I've just got all of my layouts, I'm trying to find one that I can show that's showing off a load of my work. I've got my whip queue, which I'm guessing a lot of people again use Ravelry. This notebook goes everywhere I go, which is why it's now got more of my crochet slash knitting stuff in here. And this one tends to stay at home and I update this as and when. What I'm gonna do with some of the patterns that are in here some of the stuff that's in here is photocopy it and put it into here so that I've got it all in one place because eventually this has only got that much left with and it's supposed to get me through the year so eventually this is going to be shelved and another one will be started so just to make it simple I'm just going to photocopy everything put it in my crochet journal so I've got it all easy access easy reference that's the plan um, I think I can show you this. It's not got too much on it. So this is my month overview. At the top it's got my goals. And I've got some quotes in there of course. And then it's just got a calendar printout. And that was for November. And then I normally... I should have a blank one somewhere. Yeah, that's quite empty. And then I would just do my week view like that. So it's got my calendar up there. Um, I've since changed it because as you can see, I didn't really use the week views. Um, and so now they are more like this with squares. But again, that was March, no Feb. I don't really use that, so it's changing again. Um, I really like my trackers, so I've got stuff that I can track what I'm doing. Anyway, that's real life stuff. In terms of 
crochet stuff, I put patterns in there that I'm thinking of. So it's got doodles, don't mind my amazing illustration skills. When I was um, doing my prototype for leg warmers, which I never actually finished, all of my ideas are in here and the pattern, um, how I thought I would put it together and then the prototype, it's all in here. Then I've got Snaps Blanket and Just Because are both set out in here. So Snaps Blanket, um, I've noted that I used Mama D sample, which is over there, um, which is 11 clusters wide, and I've put here 22 times 3 equals 66 plus 2 equals chain 68. I can't even remember doing that, but I'm glad I wrote it down. And then I've wrote the row repeats there, um, just because I started keeping a tally of the squares that I've made, um, I I'm also in here, the one tracker that I am keeping in here that is corresponds with my crafty life is I'm keeping a track of how much yarn I've crocheted or knit this year because I want to see people do this thing, I can't remember what it's called, but um, tour de fleece. So when the people are riding their bikes around for tour de friends, people do tour de fleece or something and you spin or you knit and then you work out how far you've knit and then that's how far you've traveled. So say for example, in this wool band, has it got the length? It's got 300 meters in 100 grams. So if you use all of that in a project, you, you've traveled 300 meters. And I just wanted to see how far I've traveled in a year because I love traveling and at the moment don't quite have the funds to go all the places I want to but I can travel with yarn so um, I've got a, a list in here of everything I've completed and how far I've gone with that um, and also how much I want to see how much of my stash I've used up so in grams as well at the end of the year um, I've got my chunky sock pattern, which I made up myself. Oh, that's in there. Um, I've got blog post ideas. I've got the pattern for my January blue socks. Um, I've got sock pattern ideas in here. I've got stuff for HGDC Makers Moment, which is the Twitter chat I hold every Wednesday at 9pm GMT. I've got the planning for my brother's helmet cosy, which I am going to be working on after this because it's actually I'm actually making some good progress. Um, here's the yardage tracker, which needs updating. I've made loads since then. Um, what have I actually made this year? I'm gonna have to sit and update that before I get too far behind. And I've got a list of the samples that I want to make. Um, if anybody watched my last vlog a few few vlogs ago, I did swatching, um, which is all my samples, which are there. I've got a list here of ones I want to make. So I want to try doing a puff braid, eyelet, fishnet lace and chevron. I've done the eyelet. And I've done, I haven't done any lace, but I've done the eyelets. Um... And here is the pattern for Lacey Fern, which I can't show you yet. Um, then I've got, here I wrote, I've done a little bit of bullet journaling, which in my vlog, um, I can't remember what I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna call it. It hasn't gone up yet, but I think it's gonna be like, hang out with me or day with. And it's just um, sort of what I do on my Sundays, one of which is update my journals. Um, and I updated my bullet journal, and you can actually see me doing that in that vlog. And I've got my works in progress, my new projects, my vlog ideas for you guys. So I've listed my works in progress and the projects that I want to start. One of them being this crochet jumper. 
and I've actually drawn it out. I've worked out measurements, how many squares I need, and I've done a little bit of how I'm going to go about constructing that. And I've actually started this jumper as well. So um, I've got up here new projects, and I wasn't going to start any of them till I'd finished a project. I don't even, I can't even justify what <laughs> I've started it. There we go. And I've um, I'm numbered up here. So new projects, and I've got one and two, crochet jumper and brochure brush. Um, and I just, I sketched it out, did the measurements and thought, well, I'm just going to start it. So I have actually started that. Um, and I'll let you know how that goes along. So yeah, that, that is how I keep track of everything that I'm doing. Um, I use these two. I am using Ravelry a little bit as well. So I've had some lovely people email me on there, message me saying, if you need any help, let me know. Um, I've started to get friends on there. I'll put the link below so you can find me and add me as a friend. Um, at the moment, Ravelry is just more of I use it more as a, of a pin interest board where I'm I'm liking and I'm favouriting stuff and queuing stuff because I'd like to make it but it isn't actually stuff that I have made whereas these are what I have made or what I'm planning or ideas that I have and I also just want to say I can see time is catching up trickling on I just wanted to say that it's okay to have 101 ideas but only bring two into life. So as you've seen in there, I've got ideas of blankets that I'd like to make, applique cushions. I've got ideas of how I would use some of those swatches, how I would incorporate them. I've got a list of things I'd like to try. And sometimes for me, I just need to get it all out on paper so that it's there, but I don't actually have to make it. It then empties my mind and it's there for future reference should I ever want to go back and make them. But it just means that you've got it out of your head, you're not clogged up. Um, and every idea you have is not always going to be a good one. Not every idea you have you're going to want to see through. And not every idea is actually going to work out. But if you write them out like I do, then you can then say, right, what is it that you want to that I really want to work on. I listed new projects I wanted to do and immediately it shouts out to me that I want to do my crochet jumper and I almost have one entire panel done for that crochet jumper now and I've done that in a week and I work full time as well because I just, that helps me focus my mind when I've got it all in paper. So it's okay if you have a hundred and one million billion trillion ideas but there's only three that you actually really want to focus on and it's also okay if you don't have the time to do them all because you've put them in here so that one day when you do have a bit of spare time you can think oh and you've already pre-planned it you've already given yourself instructions and same with if you're working on a project and you just isn't working for you and you just don't want to do it anymore like I had the lily blanket and I found it too painful to work on so I put it to one side but I wrote that note to myself which then meant that I could come back and do it and finish it and I then gifted that to somebody one of my close friends granddad and I know he loves that blanket so it's okay to do that as well you, you can do whatever you want to do and don't put the pressure on yourself if you don't get the projects done so that is my crochet journal and that is my bullet journal and they work together. Let me know if you've enjoyed this um, vlog. I hope you have because it's looking like it's going to be over 40 minutes long. Um, and let me know how you organise your patterns, your ideas and the work that you work on. Find me on Ravelry, get me using that a little bit more. Um, and if you've got any organisation tips, then please do let me know. Um, if you want to see more journal stuff, then also let me know because I am a journal junkie and I have like another, I've got a stack, I can see them. I've got another five or six journals I could easily go through. 
So that's everything for today. Thank you so much for watching. Olivia, I hope this answers your questions and it's not bored you silly. Um, I think I'm actually going to update more of this now. Put some more of my swatches in. Put some more of these ends in. So I'm going to sign off now. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.